Kurt. First day here in Mafuta. We made it in. It was a lot of traveling. Uh, went through a crazy rainstorm on the way here. Uh, thought we were going to be flooded out, but once we got here to camp, it seems to have not rained here. Uh, so we're hoping the animals are still going to be around the water holes. We have about three hours left to uh, go out to take a look. We're going to zero the rifle, make sure it made it here. Uh, my SKPK, so I'm sure it's fine, but we still have to check it and then uh, away we go hunting. So, first day of a crazy adventure. Let's go make it happen. Spotted some hard beasts. We tried to make a stalk out of it. I don't know, the wind either changed or they hurt us or something. So it's been hard hunting here so far. It's day two, and we're just going to keep going at it, keep uh, trying our best, but eventually we'll get in position. We need to get some bait up in a tree for a leopard, so we're going to keep working at it and see if we can't get it done. Well, day three here in Zambia and uh, finally connected on this Lichtenstein hartebeest. Um, there's quite a few hartebeest species uh, all over Africa and this happens to be the one that lives uh, here in Zambia, also in Mozambique and parts of Tanzania. So it's a uh, beautiful animal. You can see the yellow and red coat and uh, just a really nice old bull here that we were able to collect on day three. So first animal down here in Zambia. It took us a while but hopefully this opens up uh, what we're doing and we can get on some sable and maybe a roan and who knows what else. But so far a good hunt. It's finally sunny and beautiful out so the animals are moving and we got them down.
tractors just spotted a group of sable. Looks like there's a pretty good bull in the group. They've been in these forests really thick in here because the weather's been so bad, but um, we have some fresh tracks here, and we're gonna track these down and uh, see if there's a good bull in the group. So this has kind of been the best day of sable hunting we've had, so we're gonna see if we can't get on one here. made a stalk on a group of sable and uh, the bull that was in the group wasn't as big as we thought it was. It's been hard hunting, the weather's been rough. We're five days in now and we passed a uh, bull a couple days ago that now is kind of looking pretty good but uh, you can't get the real big ones if you you know shoot one that's just really good. So we're gonna keep uh, plugging along hoping that monster comes out but um, today's been a great day for hunting and if it continues like this, we should get an opportunity on what we're looking for. again. Sable, I had to shoot him. He was running through the woods, and I had to make a quick shot. I don't know if we got it on the camera or not, but after everything we've gone through, I had to take the shot. It was now or never. Uh, not too far from here is the other area we can't hunt, so I had to take him. And uh, it is a beautiful sable, and I'm trying to catch my breath. I just can't begin to tell you how relieved I am. He's down in there. We actually watched him flop over. It was a perfect shot, so. It's uh, it's surreal right now. My heart's about to beat out of my chest. So, oh, what an amazing experience. Let's go put our hands on them. Well, guys, we did it. It was a grueling week here in Zambia. The rains came with a vengeance. 
we've been stuck we've had to winch out we've had to cut trees to put under our wheels we've looked at numerous sable i can't say enough about peter he knew what i came here for he was very patient patient with me which is which is hard sometimes because i'm fussy fussy about what i shoot and i'm very thankful for him for being patient and, and a hell of a ph and the whole crew did an amazing job and with everything that we went through to have this very old sable bull here is, is so surreal for me this is this is a bucket list animal of really anybody that comes to africa but I specifically haven't shot one in South Africa and other places because I wanted to come to Zambia where the giant sable originate from. All those ones you see on those fancy brochures on those ranches in South Africa, this is where they come from. This is 100% free range here. The conservation these guys do, the proof is right here. It's a very old bull, huge. Would have even been longer if he hadn't rubbed a little bit, but I'm just ecstatic with this sable, and uh, there's been a lot of emotion here on this hunt going through. We're, we're on a tight schedule. We have other animals we're trying to hunt, and we've already kind of threw in the towel on a couple here and there that are just going to be too tough to get done. But this was our, our diamond, and and now our diamond is uh, in the salt, as they say. So uh, we're going to head back to camp, have a much-deserved uh, cocktail, and uh, revel over this amazing sable. So. Uh, off to the next adventure. If you want to go on a wonderful free range sable hunt like I just did, contact me and we'll make it happen.